surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, we'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she is dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. The soul soul. What does he want? Destruction, bloodshed, Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Best we don't interfere. The spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. Are those soldiers? That, Miss Duarte, is Old Saul's army. You're young. You're dead. I meant your essence is strong for one your age. How did you come to be here? How did you come to waste your potential by being a banisher? Do you believe I'd make a better witch? Yes, I do. You'd be doing yourself and me a favor. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. It's not giving in. Oh, 
shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. I know. This ivy is well rooted in the invisible. Right. And therefore impossible to comb out. Dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that? Antia? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be. For you both. I... Thank you. But now you're here together. And I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet, but yes, this is the twilight. Still, after the darkness comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. 
No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our Seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws, and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. We know the beast was linked to the Nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the Nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? 
Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, what did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. I see. The price, in essence, will be high. But you know this. Aye, we do. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGraith. Banishing, of course, is famously safe. Over here, banishers. By the pool. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. This must be one of the breaches Ceridian mentioned. Yes. This is a void breach. But yours are a little further down, in the cave. You'll see. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. 
bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think the nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath, as I accept the rain. <laughs> and new Eden surely deserves the flood. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. Ah, chest. How many more are there? I didn't ask and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until he can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Well, let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. I suppose we'll come back to this one eventually. Can't wait, can you? Is this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out.
God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. Yes, keep moving. that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. Beacon is dead. Something's wrong. Oh, what a new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. Troubles about.
Don't leave me here alone. to me. From what hold did this horror crawl? I don't know, but we need to go. What was that? Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know.
Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought... For, for a moment, I thought of them. Those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming. Wings. Sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. You're you, and you're here with me, right now. I will be. Soon, I hope. This void. Is it hell? Is that what we saw? Is that what we've been sending all those ghosts we've banished? Or is it limbo? A timeless in-between filled with tortured souls? When we banish a ghost, we destroy it. The teaching is clear. What if the teaching is wrong? I heard the voices. They worry me too. But the teaching can't be wrong. We should have known where we were sending those poor souls. What if you end up there too? All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye. All is well. Right. <laughs>